A lot of weirdos hanging out at the farmer's market, huh? Yeah, farmer's market. But I hear that's where you can get a good start in this town. You can get a good start in a lot of things. Farming. Farming. Marketing. Marketing. Musicking. <laughs> Musicking. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz. You guys got your start at a farmer's market, is that not correct? That's correct. That's correct. What is that about? It's, it's the one in Aptos, um, up near Cabrillo. I don't know if it's still Every there. Saturday? I'm not sure. Saturday, Saturday yeah, I think so. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, it was the first time we performed publicly together. Um, well, perform music, that is. How old were you then? We were like uh, 12, I think, yeah. 11 or 12, but, you know, we, so two we, years we ago. sounded horrible. But <laughs> we, were like, we were like little teeny little kids, and so, you know, people thought, it was forgivable. oh, little cute little kids playing jazz, they sound like yeah. crap, but, you know, we're going to... That's quite a racket. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to say, I, I remember seeing you guys, and it was probably 13, 14, oh, and yeah. you guys didn't sound like crap. Yeah. You guys sounded good from the get-go. You guys have always sounded oh, really yeah. tight. How old are you guys now, if you don't mind my asking? We are 19, turning 20 in a couple weeks. 20 in a couple weeks. Yeah. Yep. You're old men Ooh. now. Yeah. And you are now living out in New York, eh? Yeah, yeah that's correct. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing out there? Uh, we're up to no good. Yeah. We're just wrecking havoc everywhere. <laughs> I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to school out there, and we sort of, we, we go to Manhattan School of Music. Yeah. And um, as soon as we graduate, we're just going to live there and try to play jazz in the city. You know, just live the dream, you know. How much longer till you graduate? Um, we're going to try to graduate after this next year. Okay, you're going to try. Well, well, yeah, it's not official because it's going to be like a year We're going to try to graduate so. early, but we have to take a... But it's not, it's not official, so we might not do it. So yeah. it yeah. depends on if they let us. I see. But, so yeah, see. there are a few jazz, jazz clubs out there in Manhattan? Just a few. Mm -hmm. in Ma <laughs> well, <laughs> there used to be yeah, more. Anywhere. There used to be more, but there's, there's a lot of great clubs in like down mm. the, the village. But nothing like the Kumba. Oh, nothing Come like Kumba. No, no, no. The no, Kumba is no. the best. Still our favorite jazz club. Okay. It's the okay. Best. And you guys just played there. This yeah, we played there a couple ago. days ago. Yeah, yeah. How'd that go? It went great. It went great. Yeah, yeah. We a couple of people showed up? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people. A lot we of sold friends. out. We sold out, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So. You guys grew up playing at the Kumba, right? Well, uh, we grew up first. We had to grow up a while. We had to grow up for a while, yeah. But I mean, Kumba helped us along our you know path. Because uh, they have a great education program, they had a jazz camp and an honor mm, band right. that helped support us. I think we actually played here with the Kumba Jazz Honor Band one year with Tara yeah. Leeton. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So. And so, uh, what are you up to musically now in New York? Any, any big exciting things that you've already come across? How long have you been out there? First of all, we've been out there for two years for now. Two years already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh so. well, well, we got a lot of stuff. Well, why don't you go first? Oh, oh man, too. I'm coming up with a lot of projects. None of them are in New York yet, because I'm still at home. Uh -huh. but <laughs> well, actually, one of them, we're going to be playing, uh, we just formed a quintet with uh, the Strickland brothers, oh. who are also identical okay. twins. Okay. So it's going to be really funny, because we're going to have two identical twins in the same group. <laughs> we'll have to come up with a That had name. nothing to do with why we hired them, though. Right. <laughs> Which is both just coincidence. So it's just really funny. We're going to be playing at the 55 bar with Matt Brewer and the Strickland brothers. Uh, oh, yeah. In September, which is going to be really fun. Awesome. And apart from that, that's the only thing we know of coming up in New York. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're we're working on all kinds of stuff, man. You got uh, that electronic stuff. I've been doing. Check, checking out electronic music and trying to merge it with jazz mm -hmm. and kind of you know, create more publicly accessible jazz because nowadays, you know, our generation is a rock generation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a different kind of thing, and, and uh, there's so much cool cool stuff about jazz harmonically and rhythmically and stuff. I want to kind of help people realize that through, uh, through you know, rock tradition. <laughs> I don't know. How did you <laughs> fall in love with jazz? I mean, how did you, you know, when probably a lot of your peers at school or whatever were mm -hmm. listening to MTV music or whatever? You know, uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't the peers, but it wasn't I don't know. We just, uh, we, started, we started playing some music camp um, like we just we just enjoyed it from the get go. Mm -hmm. the, the improvisation. Well, there was a really so there was a, there was a responsible a dude responsible for our appreciation of the music. Gene Lewis, mm. uh, he used to teach at Kirby, um, yeah, a few years ago. But, uh -huh. Yeah. And so has New York been a culture shock for you guys? Well, it was. Sure it, it, was first, it was nice. It's always nice to be in like a different environment for yeah. a little while. You know, when you get you know grow up in Santa Cruz and then. New York is completely the opposite, but it, it was it was a real like creative push. It gave us a lot of new material to sort of um, play jazz about. Yeah, it gave us <laughs> gave us sort of yeah fuel yeah. fuel for creative fuel. I don't know. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, I don't know. We we prepared for it a lot coming from a place like Santa Cruz. I mean, politically, it's an easy transition, but <laughs> but uh, especially uh, it's different. You know, yeah. in, in California, people are more apt to be nice to you. In New York, they're more apt to just be, be honest afraid and, of you or, and, <laughs> and not give a shit, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. So, right. 
So your plan then after you graduate are really just to hang out in New York and see what, what happens? Well, I mean, we want to we wanna make a career out, of, career out of our music. I think the ultimate goal yeah. is we to, might go to... We might go to grad school depending on how things yeah. work out. We don't want to, like, set anything in stone right now, yeah. you know, because it's... I don't know. Your plans always yeah. stick together, musically and otherwise? Uh, to a certain degree, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. I think that the main plan is just to, to find a way to make a living, to support ourselves by making music that we enjoy. Because then, you know, that's everybody's dream job. Do something fun and get paid for it, you know. Yeah. So Speaking of getting paid for it, tell us about the new CD. How did this come about? What's ah. on it? Oh. What, what do we got here? Me to take it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. All right, this CD, uh, this CD came about, um, it was the summer before we moved to New York, and that's why it's called Migration, because okay. uh, it features uh, musicians from both coasts, it kind of, you know, part of the album was recorded in half the summer, and we were kind of in the middle of moving. Yeah. You know, I think like three days before we left for New York, we were in the studio working on it, and, and it's got all these great musicians from L.A. and from New York on it, and we had a lot of fun making it, so. Excellent. And this is available mm -hmm. on your website. Yeah. 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 Which uh, we have the, the Earl yeah, up there the somewhere. Yeah, there, uh, huh. David, the pull-up. The, the website. You want to tell us what it is? Tell us. Yeah. LBJazz.com. Mm -hmm. LBJazz.com. You can find yeah. out mm -hmm. with the LaBeouf brother yeah. there, too. Yeah. Okay. So we're almost out of time. Oh, um, not that happened. I don't know if we have time to hear another tune, but you played <laughs> plenty, and it was great. Oh, Thank you very much cool. for coming. Thanks. Thanks for having us. When you head back to New York, here. you're here for the summer, yeah? We're, we're, here, here. we're here for the summer. We're playing a couple shows before we go back. Um, we're playing at Michael's on Main on um, July 23rd and August 6th. We got a... Uh, That's here in SoCal, Yeah, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. here in SoCal. Then we're playing in at the Knitting Factory in L.A., Okay. On um, our birthday, the on third. August third, yeah. Oh. yeah, and then our finale is August fifteenth in San Jose mm -hmm. at Santana Row, and then we're going back two days later to New York. So. Wow. Yeah, but we need support for the third because it's like one of those Babel of Dance things where if we win, we get a record deal and all this stuff. So, oh, really? if anybody wants to come to LA, hey, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, let us know. Contact yeah. us through email or something. It's on our <laughs> website. Yeah. Well, great. Our show's yeah. syndicate in L.A., isn't it? No? Yeah, yeah, they say yeah. it's in L.A. So if you're watching from L.A., go, go yeah. to the Knitting oh. Factory. Right? Yeah. 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 And that's August 3rd. August yep. 3rd. Yeah. What's our time, Thanks, people? Then. We're out of time. We're wrapping Thanks up. For, Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to have you guys here. Mm -hmm. And good best be of luck to you back in New York and, and on your travels throughout. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, the CD is Migration. You can get it on their website. Or Streetlight Records and a variety logos. of other yeah. logos. If your record store doesn't have it, ask them why. <laughs> right? Jeff, nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Let's do this again in a couple Should weeks. Should we do it again in a couple weeks? Why not? All right. We'll be here. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Yeah.